uh, telling you about uh, some of the development that we're doing on uh, Lexica here. So, uh, the, when uh, Justin came to us with this challenge, we were, we were really kind of taken aback because, man, the, the, the goal of this is really big. The, the goal very much is to try and get junior high age kids excited about reading, reading more, reading more often, by using an action game. And we knew this was a non-trivial challenge, uh, but it's exactly what the, the goal of Lexica is. So the way it is structured is there is a large central game, uh, which hopefully we'll be able to show you a trailer for, uh, and that is kind of structured something like if you, if you can imagine a Zelda type game with immersive 3D environments, with uh, a lot of quests, with a lot of things to do, and then embedded within there are a series of, uh, of smaller games that all fit in like puzzle pieces, and you're going to hear uh, from other developers who've been working on uh, those pieces of it, and the idea is that those help build various skills. So the overall game is all about uh, getting kids interested in, in literature, because it's a, it's a world of literature. It's a world where there is, a, the, the idea is there's sort of a magical library, and it is under siege, it is under uh, attack. And the, uh, the, the, during the quest that you do, you end up meeting all kinds of characters from literature. The, the literary characters uh, are, are all the quest givers, and they also give you powers. So the notion is that the more quests you complete for them, for you know characters like uh, Tom Sawyer or, or uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, the more uh, that they will help you. It's almost like you're. It's, it's sort of like you can imagine sort of a cross between uh, Kingdom Hearts and Pokemon, something like that, except with literary characters. And the more of them that you know, the more powers that you'll have uh, as you as you work through the game. How are we doing back there? <laughs> Almost ready. Awesome. So we started all this very much with a view of thinking about goals. And it, it's, a, it's a crazy sounding goal, the, the notion of how do I use an action game to get kids to read more. And the way we attacked it was by looking at what are the things that stop kids from reading? What are the, the blockers? Oh. I'm sure about you. All right. Yeah, what are the blockers that keep kids uh, from reading? And we found that there were uh, a number of them as we, as we kind of started doing initial research on this. Some of it is that kids just haven't connected with any book. There's no book they found that really feels like, yeah, this book is meaningful to me. Other problems are kids, some kids just haven't read much, and so reading is difficult for them. And so part of what we wove into the game are, are uh, puzzle games that that feel really fun, but gradually are building your mastery of syntax and vocabulary and spelling. So hopefully that as you build those things, reading becomes something that's, uh, that's a bit easier for you. So, oh, almost working at magical. Uh, okay, so before, uh, hopefully we're gonna be able to show the trailer. I wonder if I could take any quick questions about this in order to frame things up before we continue. Yeah? So, I have to say, I agree with most of what you said, but I think it's actually not that hard to make games that make people want to read more. Uh -huh. so if you talk to a 13 year old that plays Dota 2 or StarCraft or Halo, there, there are a lot of them are reading fan fiction online, they're buying the books, they can tell you everything you want to know about every species or every race or every character. So, a lot of times, just making a really fun game that's not about reading or learning, and I was an English teacher. So I'm on your side. Really. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times, just making a really fun game is what you need to do to get kids reading, right? Yeah. So no, that's I mean, it's a, a really, really good comment for people who couldn't hear it is the notion that if you get kids really excited and into something, they're going to want to read more about it. They're going to want to help create and write fan fiction and uh, and be able to read as much as possible about it. Uh, a big piece of what we tried to do was we used sort of the Carol Dweckian uh, theory uh, of. Uh, of, of, uh, of learning and what is it that, that gets kids excited about learning. So you can see some of the visuals here. Oh, do we have the audio up? characters emerge from their text to be a part of the new narrative. All right, if you can turn that up and just let that run, that'd be great. Where books are alive and need your help. There are 
were some in the library who would see books controlled, and others who would see books destroyed. But neither can happen as long as the creative powers of reading and writing are active in the library. And that is where your story begins. The goal of Lexica is helping players become engaged and accomplished readers and writers. Lexica supports and encourages students as they grow their English language arts skills, grapple with more challenging texts, and make reading a daily habit. Players encounter embedded games focused on language arts skill practice, spelling, syntax, and vocabulary. By doing so, students will improve skills that are key to becoming better readers and writers. Lexica brings a community of students together around emerging and common interests in reading and writing. Players acquire the tools to create and share their own story spaces based on what they have read. Meet literary characters, both familiar and new, save the world of the library, and fall in love with books along the way. This is how a game helps students make reading a part of their daily lives, engaged and on their way to becoming the next generation of authors.